Cougar Camp All Access continues here with BYU running back Paul Lasique. Paul, you've kind of become the guy. I mean, with the news that Jamal's not going to play against UConn coming out now, the attention turns to you and, and Adam Heaney. How do you feel about that added responsibility for the season opener on the East Coast? Um, I, feel, I feel good about it. I, I feel confident and um, kind of blessed and, and humbled, really, that, that I get the opportunity to uh, get a few more reps at the back and um, have a little bit more responsibility, especially as a senior as well. So I'm excited and, and really ready and anxious for the challenge. How much more comfortable are you now after a couple of years in the system as opposed to, OK, play football, rugby guy? Oh, man, I feel way more comfortable. Um, it's kind of like I learned the language a little bit now, the, um, the little nuances and stuff. Um, I still got a lot to learn, but yeah, um, all of the little things like following the blocks and stuff like that, I've learned a lot more, and it's, it's, it's going smooth so far. So last year you run for 101 yards, I think, on four carries. Against Notre Dame. Against Notre Dame. After that game, we were like, hey, coach, you know, g give me the ball more. Like, yeah. let, let me show what I can do. Yeah, I, I was. Um, I also think it was a little bit of a fluke. You know, I got some good carries, and the, and the, and the offensive alignment created some big holes. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm always willing to do whatever it is, whether it's run the ball or block. And uh, last year, my main responsibility was to block. So even though um, occasionally I got the ball, it just happened to be some, some good holes and runs. So um, I went, I went right, right back to my you know, fullback position. So. What role uh, will you play against Connecticut with Jamal out, you think? Um, same sort of role, just um, added, so, added some reps at the back you know, as a tailback. Um, so me and Adam Hine, if we go in a two-back formation, it'll be me and Adam Hine. And then if it's the tailback situation, it'll just be me and Adam Hine rotating. It seems like you're catching the ball a lot out of the backfield from what we can tell in practice. Has there been, been an added measure of, of throwing the ball uh, to the backs uh, out of the backfield on purpose? Yeah, there is actually. Um, you know, I like to stay in there and protect even if, even if I do have a route. But occasionally they'll tell me, if, if, if your man doesn't blitz, just get out into the flat. You're an extra, you're an extra man. And um, if the quarterback is there and he has nowhere else to throw, he's, he's going to throw it to the backfield, you know. So, and I've been trying to work on my catching too because it's way different catching a football than a rugby ball. So, has that been a challenge? It has. It has. Um, uh, we have these journals that, that to help us keep our goals and stuff like that. And one of my goals was to catch 100%. And so I am uh, so far, which has been great. And that's just. So it goes to show that, you know, repetitions is good. BYU implemented a rugby play last year. Didn't exactly pan out the way that yes. the offensive coordinator Robert and I wanted. Yeah. Is there a variation to that, or, or are you going to try that again this year? You told us it was gone. Is it still in there yeah, or back um, in? You know, he came to me in the summer, and, he's, and Coach and I was like, Paul, I got it. I know what play we need to run that rugby play off. <laughs> it's off Salt, which is one of the plays. And so I was like, oh, okay. So in my head, I'm like, man. You know, these are like 50-50 plays with uh, running running rugby moves with Americans. So, uh, you know, he he said it's gonna it hasn't been in the script yet, but he said it's always an option. So, are you comfortable with that? I am. Uh, you want it? I'm like 80% confident, and I'm about 80% <laughs> want it. You know, so yeah. it's just a hard it's just hard to run a well, run rugby plays. So, and well, Josh you, is back there. You too, have Josh Whipping. You know? yeah. yeah, so he's he's back there, and I don't know if they planned it because of that. Uh, but, you know, he's back there, and so if we get to run a rugby play, he'll probably be involved in it. Coming into camp, the running back depth was like the one thing we thought, oh, it's the deepest position group now. Now with Jamal out and then Algie kind of having some time to get into the acclimation mm -hmm. period, did you feel an added measure of responsibility, maybe some pressure as, as camp started? I did. I, I, you know, I felt, I felt a little bit more responsibility, but part of it was just being a senior too. It's my final year. Um, I'm one of the oldest guys and like the veteran players in the, in the running back room. So it was kind of like everyone's kind of looking towards the seniors, you know, and so I felt a little bit more pressure, but, but also um, excitement too, you know, that, that I get to play a little bit more than I have my first two years. So. How has the offense been different in year two of Go Fast, Go Hard? Um, we got a year under our belt and um, we know the, the signs and the signals is kind of like uh, ingrained in us so we don't have to think as much and then we're able to execute better that way. What's the expectation or the anticipation for the offense in terms of production? How many points do you guys want to score a game? Um, 24, you know, we want to score at least 24 and then uh, from the offensive perspective and then on the defensive side, we want to hold the other team under 24. So that so benchmark remains the same for Bronco yeah, Mendenhall? It okay. does, it does, it remains the same. So th that's our goal and uh, to go fast and go hard. So.
that's what we're aiming for. At what point last year did uh, you guys focus uh, maybe a little more on execution, although you always wanted that, and less on the speed at which you run plays? Um, I, I, I kind of guess it's the same as last year. Those expectations are always there. Um, but we focused a lot on conditioning, you know, because that's a, that's a key role. To be able to go fast and go hard, it's, um, you've got to be well conditioned. And not only that, but when you do go fast, to be able to execute at a, at a high, high intensity as well. So. The reason I bring that up is because Virginia felt like you were just trying to figure out, that, okay, we, we're going to go quick. Yeah. And then later on, you went on this five-game win streak, and it felt like it went down a gear. Did, yeah. did you get that sense? Yeah, it did. I think, I think we just got a little more comfortable with it. Like, like the fir Virginia was the first game. And then, um, you know, every, everything was kind of new, the new offense. So we were kind of like hesitant. And then as the season went on, we were kind of more comfortable looking at the plays, okay, just relaxing. And everything kind of slowed down a little bit. Even though we were still trying to go fast and go hard, uh, things just kind of slowed down a little bit. With so many new guys on the team this year, what's the locker room dynamic like? Because there's always that concern, are we going to be able to gel fast enough to have a special season? What's the locker room like with so many new guys coming in, transfers and just freshmen? Uh, it's, it's awesome, man. Um, Coach Menenhall has imp implemented the big brother rule, so uh, we're actually not... He usually does it in times past that seniors get to choose where they want and then juniors get to choose. Well, this year he kind of just said, hey, you guys aren't choosing. You're going to be with your brother, so a senior player with a, a junior player, and then um, you guys are going to be next to each other to kind of... Uh, get the chemistry going and stuff like that and that we're able to feel comfortable around each other, get us out of our comfort zones and, and groups and stuff like that. So that's one thing you've done is just you don't get to choose your locker, you're going to be with your, your big brother and your little brother and then you guys are going to figure it out and, you know, so that's been a real good thing for us. Who's your little brother then? It's actually Josh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the, the Kiwi connection. Yeah. yeah. We, got our little, we got our little two two lockers right next to each other, which is pretty cool. So, the rugby connection. Yeah, you know, I got, you know, it's so funny looking at him, um, just trying to learn learn the game because he's it's like he's clumsy, you know. He's like a he's like a fish out of water right now. And so I laugh at him because I, I've been in the exact same situation. So having me as his big brother, it, it really helps him. Just kind of, I just tell him, you know, take it easy. It's going to be frustrating. It's going to be hard learning all the plays. And so he's my he's my uh, brother for now. So I'll help him help him get the rules under under control. Who's the oddest pairing of brothers? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know all the brothers, so it's kind of, I'm not sure, I can't answer that question. The two guys you're like, I'm not sure that's going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I haven't seen, I haven't really paid attention on, on, on other brother, brotherhoods, so um, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't help you on that. Paul's question. a good teammate, he's let, not going to throw anybody under the bus. Yeah, no, <laughs> just, just wrap one pair out, that's yeah. all I'm asking. Like, <laughs> not I'm just trying to think of one pair right now, and I can't. Like, I'm, you know, when, you, when they put it on the, bo the big old slide thingy, you just kind of look at your name, I, and then I, just, I don't look anywhere else. So well, that's, uh, I'll keep that in mind. I'm so. just imagining, like, Jamal Williams and Terrence Aletto. It just, it just might not Actually, mesh as much, right? right? Jamal Maybe Williams, they do. Jamal Williams is with Taysom Hill, so that's kind of like two big brothers, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, so. Right. Jamal and Taysom. <laughs> Paul the CK, hey, great to have the time. Best Thanks of luck lot, to man. you uh, in the rest of fall camp and the upcoming season. Appreciate it. Thanks. Cougar Camp All Access here with BYU Football.